Deathbed Housewives Africa is set in Africa. It's looking at African values and Africa traditions and Africa culture, but we're not taking away from the key message in that story. So I, I think that's, that's why we decided to partner with the Disney um, company on the co-production of Desperate Housewives Africa. Hi, my name is Michelle Dede. I play Tari Gambadia, the African version of Susan Meyer. My name is Nini Washera. I'm playing the role of S.A. D'Souza, the African version of Brie Van de Kamp. My name is Kain De Bankole. I play Kiki Obi, the African version of Gabrielle Solis. I'm a Tsubisang. I play the character Funke Lawal, the African version for Lynette Scavo. I'm Marcy Dolakwa Oni, and I play the character of Rume Bello, the African version of Mary Alice Young. Linda Osefo. <laughs> And I am playing Renta Moore, and she is the African version of Edie Bread. I'm Joseph Benjamin, and I'm playing Chuka Obi, the African version of Carlos Solis. I'm Jason Walker. I am playing Larry Izama. You guys at home might know him as um, Mike Delfino. I'm from a branch. I play Deji Bill with the African version of Paul Young. It's Nonso Dogu, and I'm playing the role of Coyote de Souza. Azia Gu, I play Shino, Shino Lawal. My name is Ben Tuitu and I play Tai Itim. That is the African version of John Roland in Desperate Housewives Africa. Desperate Housewives Africa? Desperate Housewives Africa. Desperate Housewives Africa. Desperate Housewives Africa. I think it's fantastic that Ebony Life TV has brought in Desperate Housewives. Um, I think we're going to be able to make it uniquely our own uh, with African characters and, and the way we live our lives and our culture and, and so much about Africa. What I think will make the African version of Desperate Housewives different from the famous American version, I would say obviously there'll be like little cultural things like the attire, you know, it'll be interesting to see the what our costumes are and the food and certain slangs perhaps you know and obviously the accent i think you should throw it away uh, what happened we don't want to spoil our lovely scenery do we a lot of interesting things that go on in Africa, culture, our tradition, our religion and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be a very interesting spin to a story that people already know, but it's going to be definitely something to watch. When you take something out of Hollywood and you put it into what Nigeria is, or should I say what Africa is, um, I think there's a lot of dynamics that are going to be very different, you know. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of drama in it. I think there's going to be a lot of fire. You know, you think about um, how dramatic we as Africans are, you know, when we're expressing ourselves and, you know, certain things like that. I just, I'm just kind of excited to see what's going to happen. a lot of work is going on into that because of course it has to appeal to the audience here and it have to connect of course and not um, taking away from the element of the main story itself because that way it, people can easily relate to it so I, I feel it's going to be um, a lot of work. I think the world would be definitely waiting to see what we have to show in our own uh, Desperate Housewives, you know, which is, of course, drama, has a lot of mystery, it is, there's a bit of, uh, you know, there's a twist and all that into it. And it being from Africa will have a lot of colors and definitely extra spice of drama. Well, get used to bad food. Counseling may not work. Children, your father's here. Please. 
um, just because she's, you know, she's a kind, she's completely opposite who I am, so she's a huge challenge to play. She's very square, she's very conservative, and that is nothing like who I am. Hey, hey, are you okay? Okay, I'll see you later. I would say Tari, Susan, Susan Mayer, is a little bit awkward. Um, she's a single mother, doesn't have a lot of luck in relationships, which is unfortunately like a lot of a lot of women do. Um, she can be a bit shy sometimes, but she's she's also somebody that's very curious, wants to know what's happening with her neighbors, with her friends, wants to help out when she can. Um, so she's I think she's she's a very complex person. Um, but at but at the core, apart from being very caring and, and nice, she, she's a little bit of a snoop too. Mom, is it true that when you commit suicide, you go to hell? My name is Susan Pajok. I come from Plateau State. I'm 12 years old and I've been acting for two years now. Do you know why people kill themselves? I don't know, darling. Who knows what goes on in people's minds? You think you know someone and then they go and hang themselves. My character is Aisha Gambadir. She is a loving and caring daughter and gives a lot of advice to her mother. Mom, it's a very simple. If boy meets girl and boy likes girl and boy is wasting time, girl takes charge and acts him out. Simple. My name is Samuel Robinson. I'm playing the character of Akin Bello on Desperate Housewife Africa. Oh, hello again. Did I interrupt something? No. Yes. Akin is a very, very weird, <laughs> psychotic kid. He's he's traumatized by the death of his mom, and he's just a, he's a really disturbed child. What did you find in the photographs? No. But I found this. Shino, this is your wife. You're, you're using me to do the stalker treatment, Abby. Thirteen times I called you and you didn't pick up my phone. Ah. I had to borrow a phone from somewhere at the mall. That's how far I have to go to, to reach my husband. Madam, my credit. Funkila was very passionate about her family, of course. She, um, family comes before business for her. She is a mother, so, but she also likes her career too. She likes to be doing something. But she, you know, the whole family setting, you know, um, really shapes her into being the kind of person that she is. And the interaction you see with the kids and her husband and going to work and, you know, over the years, the stuff that happen. So, yes, yeah, that should be interesting. If we see Okia news at this thing, don't forget to mention to his wife that I flee first class to Miami for shopping, okay? Why don't you take the ticket along and show him yourself? Hey, Kiki, just South Africa, he took his wife to for their anniversary. He would not let me hear the last of it. At least he remembers their anniversary. Kiki, I have said I am sorry about this. I don't know what other language you want me to say it in. This is a new um, boundary we're stepping into. Out of something, into something else. So much we, the actors, are looking forward to exploring. So therefore, we're asking our friends, uh, everyone out there, to also follow the expectations with us. There's so much we ourselves are unraveling, and we'd like you to join in and share the anxiety with us. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting. This is the beginning of a long, and prosperous project, which I can see success and nothing but success coming from it. A lot of people are going to be on their toes because this, as it is, you know, will be the biggest thing, you know, to come to Africa. One word I, I would describe it as fulfilling, really fulfilling, because it's like um, Yatsi, you know, this is this is it. I am super, super happy. For me, it's like meeting another new family and growing with, you know, people and becoming one. And of course, it's the first time that, you know, that is happening in Africa or Nigeria. So I'm super excited. I'm, I'm trying to contain my excitement right now. I'm just really excited to be part of this dare I say it, life-changing project. I think it's such a big deal that Desperate Housewives is coming to Africa and I just hope that the audience enjoys this as much as we're going to enjoy filming it. Yeah? And cut! Let's move in.